Let's make up a break with one. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Laura Geller Iconic New York Collection. You see how beautiful this is? Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. Up at the pricing as well as a list of the ingredients somewhere on the screen here. Let's start off with this color at the far end here, if you see it. But first I should swatch them, right? Why not? Very smooth. That's so weird. They're very smooth. So I'm doing this first column here. Very light. So on one side I'm not gonna apply primer, eye primer, and the other side I think I will. So this side is without the primer. I don't really see much of a difference between this side and that side, do you? Okay. Just gonna use a little concealer. And do you see any major difference? Hmm. I don't know. Slightly brighter, not that much. I'm loving this gray though, so I'm gonna go in with this gray because this is beautiful. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go into crease here like right above with the gray this is really a lovely lovely color the color on this side is much more concentrated and that much and it feels like I have to do more work to blend if that makes sense yeah you see the marked difference here i didn't have to so much it just did here it's de wow definitely pops the color but then it's also tougher to move around i think i can use another fluffier brush to soften it up a bit yeah Yeah, you see that? Wow, okay. So I'm gonna go in with the blue. It's like a... Let me see if I can do it at the far end here and just... Oh, wow. Again. I'm debating whether to go up on the eye socket. I don't I don't think I will. I think it's it's bold enough that <laughs> try this side. Yeah, but this is the side I'm working on, it's the one without any anything on the lid. It's just make it. See how soft this side is as opposed to the other side. The other side is um, it's much more dramatic, much deeper. The pigment, it just takes more to move it around. Wow! I mean, look at that. You see the difference? What? Yes, indeed. I, I, I dare. Should I dare? I mean, I haven't put anything on the lids yet, so. I'm thinking I may go in with this lovely gold that you see down here. You see that? Let me see, let me see that? Gold. I'm gonna do this with my lid because I have a feeling it's not gonna move with the brush so much, but I'm just gonna tap it in with my hand. It feels creamy, but 
I just feel like I, I'm not confident enough to take that chance to even wear this pretty. It seems to flake off. I don't know if you see that. It flakes off into the blue rather than easy. Can you see that? Into the but I don't see it coming off. Oh wait, I was mistaken. Oh yeah, it does. But again, this is on the side that has the that's been prepped. Oh wow. So not bad. It's amazing, but with the same color sequence. Look how intense it is on this side, save for the yellow, which I used a fluffy brush on. So it gave a softened look with that part. The rest is bold, popping. And then this side, which had nothing underneath, just naked skin, I applied and it gave a very softened look. But then I went in with my finger to do the gold there, and it's, it's a lot more powerful in the eye. I mean, it looks good both ways, but here it's definitely soft, and here it's much dr more dramatic, and it works. It's like almost two different eye looks with the same color sequence applied differently. So when I think of a color scheme, I'm always intrigued by how people view the city, like especially a densely populated metropolitan city like New York City, to go with these cool toned on the dark side type of colors save for these but these are more like neutral tones that can go with anything this blue is a lovely shade of blue I'm, I'm loving this this three set right here this gold is beautiful now I haven't applied any mascara or liner and this color is way intense way intense what do you think this top row of colors, which is this one, this one, this one, and this one. I would say, do I like this look? Yes, I do. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you haven't already hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll know my next video will be up. Thank you so much for watching and just hearing me ramble on and on about makeup. And I hope to see you on my next video. Let me know what you'd like to see next on my channel as well. I'm thinking of going in a slightly different direction, maybe even developing a side series where it's just something similar to story time or maybe just something similar to like my opinion and views on certain things. I don't know if you guys would be interested in it or not, but let me know in the comments below if that would be something you'd be interested in. I will continue, of course, my obsession with makeup and doing my best to nobly apply it and let you know what my viewpoints on that are. It's just a thought. Let me know in the comments below. Again, this is Dawn Michelle, and you've been watching Makeup or Breakup Vlog, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.